Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a rabbit hutch. This build is for those of you that just love to keep a lot of rabbits in your world and you just don't know what to do with them. Beforehand, you just left them in a random house or you left them in a random corner of your world surrounded by a fence. Well, now you can build a lovely little house that has an indoor portion and an outdoor portion for both you and the rabbits and you can watch them scurry around and do what they do. Warning, do not leave the door open because that is a surefire way to flood your world with rabbits. Trust me, I know a little something about this. For a while, my creative world was just rabbits everywhere. It was hilarious. They are so fast, it's unbelievable. You can't catch them. By the way, just in case you want to make anything else kind of along this theme, maybe like a dog house that you might be able to see on the screen in front of you to the right, or maybe a cat house. Would you believe that's a cat house on the screen to in front of you to the left? Well, check out the card system, check out the description below, and I'll also leave a link to my barn. So if you like stuff like this, feel free to check that out in both the card system and the description below. By the way, a lot of you guys suggested that I make this, so would it be possible that you guys could give me a like on this video? I'd love that. I spent a lot of time designing this, and I absolutely love it. I hope that you guys do too. Please, like, favorite, share if you wouldn't mind. But that's more than enough talk, and if you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. Grab yourself some dark oak wood planks. We'll also need some oak wood planks. Also a little bit of oak wood. We'll also want to grab some oak wood slabs. And some dark oak wood slabs. I'm pretty sure we'll need those. We'll also need some iron bars. We'll need some dark oak fence. Excuse me, guys. We need loads of materials. I'm trying to figure out what we need. We need some white stained glass pane. And we might be okay for now. Yeah, we'll probably need some more stuff. But we'll grab it as we need it. So, once you have each one of those materials right there. And once you've figured out where you want to make it. I'm probably going to make it right about here. Just in front of the little cat house there. You're going to want to kick off this build with a row of five. Dark oak wood planks coming directly up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four, five. Then go right of that fifth block by 12. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then connect that down to the ground, like so. What you then want to do, starting from the inside of the shape that you've made, starting from the bottom right hand corner, you want to do a row of three oak wood planks starting from this bottom right hand block going left, that's one, two, three. Then you want to do a dark oak wood plank, go on top of that plank by two, one, two. Then go right of that until you connect to the right hand side. And what you also want to do, not only do you want to go right of that block, but you want to go left of that block until you connect to the left hand side as well. Then fill in the lower portion of the shape that you've just formed. Fill in the lower portion of it with oak wood planks. That's regular oak wood planks. And fill the upper portion in with white stained glass paint. So you'll want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. What we now want to do is we want to take each one of these dark oak wood plank blocks that kind of form like the shape of this. So it's kind of difficult to explain. But what you want to do, for instance, you know what? Take the top two corners of your dark oak wood plank shape and extend those top two corners coming towards you each by five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And we want to do the same for the other side. That's one, two, three, four, five. By the way, we also want to connect those fifth blocks together and we also want to connect them down to the ground as well. That's actually the wrong one there. So here and we also also want to connect this down to the ground as well. So we want to have a more 3D shape. And what we also want to do is we want to come to the right hand side for instance and on the right hand side we want to do a row of white stained glass pane underneath this top row of dark oak wood planks and then underneath that row we want to do another row of dark oak wood planks. And then coming to the opposite side we actually want to do the same thing. So on the opposite side we want to do white stained glass pane right there just underneath that top row and then we want to do a row of dark oak wood planks underneath. And then you can fill either side in the rest of it with oak wood planks. So fill either side the rest of it in with oak wood planks and this is going to for most most of the area that the rabbits can hang around inside. And by the way, you also, can you see where you have this row of dark oak wood here? This row of dark oak wood planks coming up the back? Well, come all the way up to the top of the building and you kind of want to, in the same line that you have that row of dark oak wood planks, you want to connect the front of the roof to the back of the roof like that, if you guys can see what I've done there. I'm sure that you can. And what you can also do is, still coming down, you want to do a row of dark oak wood planks that connects from the 
roof down to the ground. So the same thing that you had on the front or the same thing that you had on the back, rather, you now want to have on the front as well. Also, you want to completely underneath the row, top row of front dark oak wood planks, you want to place a row of gla uh, white stained glass pane directly underneath those dark oak wood planks. And then underneath the white stained glass do a row of oak wood planks, like this. So you want to have that. What you also want to do is you want to take out your dark oak wood planks and you want to... In the same line that you just placed oak wood planks, you want to, for instance, take this very right hand dark oak wood plank and you want to extend it towards you by four with your dark oak wood plank. That's like one, two, three, four. Then take this one right here, sandwiched in between those oak wood planks, and do the same thing. That's one, two, three, four. Then all the way over on this left hand side, you want to take this dark oak wood plank and towards you, one, two, three, four. And then you can connect each one of those down to the ground with oak wood planks not dark oak wood planks you want to connect them to the ground with oak wood planks so we just want to have something which should look a little bit like this what you can now do is you can you see where we have this bottom left hand oak wood plank here well you want to on the floor place to the right of it an iron bar then missing one going right place another iron bar then place an oak wood plank on top of that plank, place another oak wood plank. You then want to do a layer of dark oak wood slabs directly on top of that little area. So sitting on top of that second oak wood plank that we have, we want to have a layer of dark oak wood planks like that, or a layer of dark oak wood slabs, I meant, excuse me. Once you've got that taken care of, you now on the right hand side here, this is where the entrance is going to be, where you have this empty space of three, you want to, on top of this left hand block, you want to go up by three with the oak wood, or with three with the oak wood, one, two, three, then go right of that third block by two, connect down to the ground, like that. Then fill in the top of this area with oak wood slabs, fill in the top of the area with oak wood slabs, so you can see how this is shaping up a bit. Where we have this front area, where we have the bars, you just want to fill in the top part of that with bars, and you want to fill in the right-hand side here with bars. And then you want to come into the very right-hand side of your build, so you can see where we have this empty space here. You want to, with your oak wood plank, starting from this bottom oak wood plank block, you want to go right of it by three of the oak wood, that's one, two, three, go up by one. Then fill in the inside part of that with white stained glass paint. Go all the way over to the opposite side of your build right here. And on this opposite side of the build, all you want to do is you want to, on this left hand side, just right of these dark oak wood planks, place an oak wood plank each, and then fill in the rest of this space with iron bars. So just fill in the rest of that space with iron bars, it might be a little bit tricky. And you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that. And that is, for the most part, the rabbit hutch. Now, we have to add a couple more nice bits. So, what we want to do here is with our oak wood, we want to take, you see the left hand side of the entrance here where it touches the ground, knocking out, actually, you see this oak wood plank here, just left of the entrance, you want to, extending this oak wood plank forwards in the ground, you want to do a row of four, that's one, two, three, four. You then want to, knocking into the ground, you want to go left until you line up with the left hand side of the hutch, destroy towards the hutch, so you want to have a U-shaped trench in the ground. Fill that in with oak wood, just regular oak wood, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, so just fill that in with oak wood, like that. Then, you want to take the very right hand side of the hutch here, where we have this oak wood plank, and you want to 1, 2, 3, 4 coming out in front of the hutch, knock out into the ground, and form that shape. We then, where we have the entrance here, you want to knock out 1, 2, 3, 4 coming out in front of the entrance, just the center blocks, and you want to replace those with oak wood planks like this and then where we have these two rows of four left and right we want to knock out these and we want to do dark oak wood planks so knock out these and you just want to place dark oak wood planks like so then on top of all of the oak wood you want to stack a layer of dark oak wood fence and this is just going to be so that the rabbits don't run off as they have a tendency to do unfortunately they do like to run away i have found or maybe it's just me maybe they like you but trust me they do not like me once you've got that taken care of we now want to coming to the very top of the rabbit hutch we want to do <clears throat> a layer of oak wood slabs 
that is one row higher than the roof and one row outwards from the roof. So going all the way around the top of the outside of the roof, as I'm doing now, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm sure you can. You can see, you can see where this is going. You want to go all the way around the top of the outside of the roof to form that sort of shape. And what you can do is you can take out your white stained glass. You'll need block for this because unfortunately glass pane can't be applied. Although it should be able to. You know how how um, how like slabs perform. I kind of wish that glass pane sometimes did that, but I suppose it'd be uh, it'd be kind of hard to program or whatever. But you want to fill in the roof with your glass block like so, and then we're not ready to stick the carrot on the cake yet. Um, there's a carrot on top of this. That's uh, that's where that joke comes in. Um, come to the inside part of your rabbit hutch, and you want to. Can you see here where we have this empty space on the left? Well, you want to do a row of oak wood planks going left of these dark oak wood planks here, and then you want to fill in the center of this shape with white stained glass pane like that, so you can see into the room. And then on the right hand side here, we want to have an entrance to the hutch, so we want to have, um, let me just have a look at my plans guys, because honestly, I can't remember. Okay, so what you want to do, going right of this row of dark oak wood planks, you want to do a row of oak wood coming up from the ground, that's one, two, three, go right by two, connect down to the ground. You then want to... Almost on the right hand side, you want to do a row of iron bars. And on top of this, you want to have a row of white stained glass panes. So you want to have something which should look like that. And if you want to see your rabbits a little bit more, you can take out your iron bars, you can knock out those dark oak wood planks, and you can throw a row of iron bars in there instead. And what you can then do is you can come into the right hand side here. You just want to. You Can you see where we have this row of um, this oak wood plank here? Well, you can do, like, next to the bars. It's important where you place this, so, like, in line with this. You want to do a row of oak wood here, leaving a gap of two, and then do two more oak wood. So, can you see, we have, like, a little entrance that we can walk in and out of. You know what? We'll just leave a gap of one for the rabbits. So, just do a gap of one for the rabbits here, and then you can just fill the rest of this inner with oak wood planks. So, you should just have a single space that you can walk in and out of, and that way it's in line with the entrance to get out for the rabbits as well, or the exit to get out, as you might say. And just to make this look a little bit nicer, um, knock out the part where you can actually walk in, like the part where the rabbits aren't, knock into the floor, as I'm doing now. And you just want to knock into the floor the part that you can walk around, and also under the bars, under the doors, and replace everything that you've just destroyed with oak wood planks. So everything that you've just just did there, everything that you've just destroyed, replace with oak wood planks. So you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like that, and it looks a bit nicer. And if you want, you can even use like a dark oak wood underneath the doors and underneath the bars, and that just adds a bit of contrast, and it makes it look a little bit nicer. And um, what you can also do for the rabbit part, so in this back corner of the rabbit, the back left hand corner of the build, you want to do, um, starting from in front of this block here, so like starting from this back hand corner block on the floor, we have this, come forward by two, one, two, place two oak wood planks coming up from the ground. Then you want to go right of that second oak wood plank by two with your oak wood slabs, that's one, Two, and then you can just connect that slab down to, down to the ground using slabs. You then want to take that upper slab, connect it to the wall like this, and then you want to connect down from that block that touches the wall with your oak wood slabs. Fill the top of this shape in with slabs. You then want to have a layer of, and we can get rid of our materials now, we can want to have a layer of dark oak wood stairs that kind of like comes down to the ground like this. So the rabbits can get in and out. You know what, we'll actually leave that block open and we'll just fill that in with oak wood slabs. So this is so that the rabbits have somewhere to hide as rabbits are quite skittish so that they can run in and out of there and uh, they just have somewhere to run in and out. And um, that is pretty much it. What you can also do if you like, we're going to need some doors by the way so we can just grab ourselves some uh, oak doors and you can grab yourself if you like some hay bales. I'm trying to find them. Some hay bales. And I'm also going to grab just one. We only need one. Just one bone meal. So um, I'm going to place a couple of hay bales in here because why not? I'm going to put a door 
on the inside part of the rabbit hood so you can see them running around in there. And I'm also going to put a door here on the outer part of the hutch. I'm going to lay down a hay bale here in this corner and a bone meal. So now it's all nice for the rabbits. And you know what I didn't do? Um, on the original, I'm just going to knock through this bar. And I'm going to obviously have to grab a bar now. And I'm also going to have to grab a torch. I placed a torch here to light things up. And I'm also going to place a torch here and here just to further light things up. And I can just place another iron bar here. And uh, that just lights up the interior quite nicely. It looks quite good like that. And the last thing that we have to do is build the carrot on top of this because whilst you st you might be able to tell what this is for immediately, but just just so you have a bit more of a, a bit more of an idea, we're going to grab some never brick fence, some orange wool, some green wool, and some orange stained clay. And let me just bring up the plans here because I can't remember the positioning off the top of my head. Okay, perfect. So once you have all of those, you want to come to the very top of your rabbit hutch. And you want to, starting from this block right here, I'm sure you'll be able to see which one I'm talking about. I have it highlighted right now. It's where the cursor is, this block. You should be able to find it. On top of this block, place two never brick fence. One, two. You then want to place an orange wall on top. Then do a bottom left diagonal with your orange wall. Then go left of that by one of your orange stained clay. Do two upper right diagonals with your clay. One, two. Then go right by one with your orange wall. Then do orange wool on top of each one of those clays. Then inside this top right hand space here you want to place lime wool. Go right of it by one, go up on top of it by one and there you have your carrot. That is your carrot on top of, ra on top of your rabbit hutch. And that is pretty much the rabbit hutch. Missing one thing of course, we're missing some rabbits. So I'm just going to spawn a couple of rabbits inside here. So we'll have one here, we'll have one here, we'll have one here. I'm surprised they're not running away to be completely honest. I'll have one here. And oh, there we go. And you can see them bouncing around. And if we come to the inside part of the rabbit hutch, we can actually see him. Oh, he's against the window. He's not taking a poo, is he? He's looking at me. So we can just open up this as well and can place one here and here. And I'm going to quickly close the door because those rabbits are lightning fast. And they will bolt for the door, I have found. But we can see them playing through the door and this is where you can keep all of your rabbits. Obviously, you can keep loads in here. I don't, I don't know how many rabbits you can fit in here. I'm, I'm going to place loads of them, and uh, and they'll be all be hopping around. They'll be on the inside. They'll be outside. Can you can you move to the inside, rabbits, please? This guy's still watching me. But um, I, I, I expected them to move a little bit more. Oh, you see, he's, he's up on that little play area there. He's having a bit of a hop around. You can see them on the hay bales and everything. And there you go, guys. That's the rabbit hutch. I mean, if I've missed anything, feel free to add it, of course. But... I, uh, I think that that's a really, really cool feature to your world if you wanted to have one of these outside of your outside of your house, along with either the cat house or maybe even the dog house. I, I think that's quite obvious what it is. I mean, it's got a carrot, it's got an outside part, and more than likely, you'll probably have some rabbits hopping around, so I'm sure that everybody will be able to see what it is anyway. Hopefully you guys like this build. I love it. I, I think that this is one of the better builds that I've done, and I'm not even joking. I think that this is an absolutely fantastic build. I, I love this. I, I, I really do. I think that I did quite a good job with this patting myself on the back, I know, but hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. If you do, please drop this video a like, give it a favourite, give it a share, and if you'd feel like doing, tell me out. Honestly, I'd really, really appreciate Please, like, favourite, share, if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. We do loads of stuff around here. I mean, just in this view alone, you can see we have a rabbit hutch, we have a cat house, we have a dog house, we have a library, on the right there's a suburban house, we have a police station, we've got no how many vehicles outside, like favorite share if you wouldn't mind, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the car system, I'll be leaving a, I'll be leaving like my cat house, I'll be leaving like my dom, my dog house, my barn, they're, they're all animal related bills, I'm sure if you love this you'll probably love all of those, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.